Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are in Prague, Czech Republic. I have a few days here and I want to make another cost of living in video for you. As an example, I show the usual low budget lifestyle. You might be the type of person that goes out every night and spends a lot of money on food and drinks. But everyone is different and spends money in a different way. I will now show you the example of George. But who is George? This is George. He is a simple and happy man with a simple life. This is everything he needs to pay for in a month. 50 liters of water, 5 liters of milk, 2 kilograms of fries, 2 kilograms of bread, 10 kilograms of seasonal veggies, 15 kilograms of seasonal fruit, 8 kilograms of meat, 12 eggs, public transportation, 4 times a 10 minute cab ride, 20 coffees at bar, 10 beers, 2 bottles of mid-range wine, 2 movie theater tickets, health insurance, haircut, a gym membership, the rent for a one bedroom or studio apartment, mobile phone and internet subscription, toiletries and one pair of t-shirt and pants. George works remotely on his computer. The currency in Prague is the Czech crown, but the following expenses are already converted to US dollars. For the grocery products I went to Billa, which is in my opinion the store where you can get products with a good price quality ratio. 50 liters of water cost $12. In my opinion, bottled water just tastes better, but it's also perfectly safe to drink tap water. 5 liters of milk will cost $3.5. 2 kilograms of rice are $3.5 as well. For 2 kilograms of bread, George would pay $4. 10 kilograms of mixed seasonal veggies cost $27. 15 kilograms of mixed seasonal fruits will cost $24. For 8 kilograms of mixed meat, George will pay $88. 12 eggs cost $2. 10 beers and 2 bottles of mid-range wine will cost $14. And for some toiletries products, George will spend around $25. For a total of $188. The metro is safe and reliable, running at high speed from one side to the other. Metro lines run a service every 2-3 to three minutes during peak hours and every 4-9 to nine minutes after 7 pm. If you get the monthly pass it will be $30. You will be able to use buses, the metro and trams. If you are under 30 years old, you will get a discount on the prices. George will get the monthly pass for $30. In Prague, you can use Uber and a 10-minute Uber ride will be about $5 for 4 times a month, that's $20. A regular coffee at the bar will cost you around $2.50 for 20 coffees a month, that's $50. One movie theater ticket is $5 for 2 movies a month, that's $10 a month. This is how health insurance works in Czech Republic. The standard of healthcare in the Czech Republic is generally high. In fact, the country's healthcare scheme has been praised as one of the best in the European Union. The affordability and standard of medical treatment has even seen the country emerge as a popular destination for medical tourism in Europe. It's obligatory to have health insurance in the Czech Republic, whether through a public or private health insurance provider. Czech citizens residents and anyone working for a Czech employer are automatically insured under the country's public health care system and pay monthly contributions. Other long-term visitors will have to use a private insurance company. George will get the basic private health insurance for $50 a month. A haircut close to the city center is about $25. 
For the gym I would recommend you check out some gyms around the neighborhood you live in. If you want a good gym that has multiple locations I'd recommend Form Factory. For $88 a month you will be able to go there and use all their locations. So George will pay about $88 a month for the gym. About the apartments, basically Prague has different neighborhoods and each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. We could go really deep into the matter, but to put it simply, I would suggest to avoid the central neighborhoods like Prague 1 and 2, where you will pay a lot only for the location. I found this apartment in Prague 3 for George. It's a one bedroom apartment of 35 square meters, equivalent to 380 square feet for $670 a month. By the way, Prague 3 was recommended to me by locals and the district is extremely popular among expats partly due to its great abundance of pubs and nightlife venues. From all the providers available, I would recommend O2, which offers good quality at a fair price. The Wi-Fi will cost you around $18 and the phone contract, which includes unlimited calls in Czech Republic and 6 GB of mobile data is $37. So altogether, George will pay $55. For a pair of pants and a t-shirt at H&M, George will need $30. Considering all the previous expenses, George will need about $1,200 a month to live in Prague. This is an interview I did with a local and it might give you some more insights about the city. Okay, um, my opinion is uh, it's not in the center. You have to go around like uh, because we have a few quarters where it's really good to, to go shop like Prague 6, Prague 4, Prague 2, uh, but definitely not in the center. Bila, Bila, Bila. sorry, Bila. Okay, I, I don't do nothing like that. I uh, go like small shops, like uh, okay. farmer shops. Okay. Yeah, so not Bila, not Lidl, not... Ah, uh, uh, you do small yeah, shops. Yeah, I do small shops, yeah. It's very good advice. Yeah, okay, when you are single, definitely Prague uh, 2, Vinohrady, because it's a lot of coffee shops, a lot of restaurants, a lot of clubs. Okay. And when you have a family and children, then definitely praxis around yeah, the city. Transportation, yeah. Uh, underground. Underground metro. Metro. Okay. The awesome. best. The best. Of, of course, when you want to see the city, like uh, then uh, tram. Okay. But otherwise underground. And how much do you think you would need to earn in a month to live in a comfortable way? In Prague, let's say uh, maybe something around 1,500 euros. 1,500. I think you should uh, not to live in the center, city center, but to live in Vinohrady, maybe Prague six, and still not not in like to live really in Prague one, Prague two. It might mean it mean in the city center where we are now. Uh, but otherwise, 1,500 should be okay to go sometimes out, euros, restaurant, yeah, yeah euros. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any final tips how to save money in Prague? How to save money in mm. Prague? <laughs> This is very so much maybe, for maybe. me because I don't. I would love to know how to save money in Prague. Yeah, maybe this. Uh, not not to live in the city center, uh, and not to go shop uh, in Pashiska. Oh, what is that? Uh? Ah, yeah, this, yeah, street, yeah the most yeah. expensive one. Yeah, we just went to the most expensive yeah. street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are in the most expensive uh, part of Prague. Awesome. Hey, okay. thank you very much. Prices to eat out in Prague, of course, can vary depending on where you go out, but we paid $25 each for a first course, a main course, a dessert and a drink. I wanted to take a second to thank everybody who subscribed, liked and commented on my videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I post new videos. Guys, I'm curious, where do you live and how much do you need to live in your city? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one in another part of the world.